All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Mumbleet. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Happy, Merry Christmas Eve. Um, happy holiday season to those who don't celebrate it. And we got some new SBCs out. So now we got Footmas, uh, Vidal, and Shakiri that we're going to do depending on the requirements. We also have some repeatable SBCs, which I'm going to show you guys. You not only one, how to make coins off this, uh, but if you're going to do them, how to be efficient and how you can use it uh, for this next couple days or so. First of all, let's take a look um, at the team we're using. It's pretty fun. Um, I haven't played too many games with it yet. Uh, I'm trying to build more footmas cards into it and a lot of untradeables. If you guys have any cool players you want to see in the squad, let me know. This is kind of my challenges, objective, grind, have fun, uh, and not using my meta team, which I haven't used in a minute. But if we look at our transfer list, let's see what's sold so far. Uh, okay, you see, yes. So right now, gold players with the new repeatable SBC are out, uh, are going in demand for a lot. These are selling for 600 at least on some of those cards. So we're going to keep listing them. Uh, I'll show you in a second what I've been doing with my silver players as well. But let's take a look at the new SBCs, uh, Footmas, and then we're going to look at the repeatable ones. So we got Vidal. Um, looks like a decent card. I'm probably going to do him. Yep, he's 84 overall needed. 75 chem. Okay. Uh, we will grind for this, hopefully, by the end of the day. Um, but I'm most likely going to do Shakiri first, depending on his requirements. If it's super low, I'm definitely going to do him. Yep, 82 rated. Can do that for sure. And I'll show you guys how you can be um, as grindy as possible, how you can save coins, how you can do all that. So there's two options. We have the 83 plus guaranteed, which this one I would not recommend you do. Uh, I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of 83s that you get for building an 82 rated team. The only way I would suggest you doing this, because typically 82 rated cards are going for discard, but now they're probably going to skyrocket a little bit. Check your club. If you have cards that are untradeable, I'd use the untradeable ones. If you have tradable cards, sell them or keep one or two uh, if you need a couple to complete your untradable team. That would be the only way I would do this. Um, what I'm probably going to do is try to be as efficient as possible with this. And I'll show you what I mean. So with the 82 to 88 rated squad, I'm going to take every single card I don't need from this. So I have a lot of packs right now that I'm saving for team of the year. Um, obviously, most team of the years are going to be over uh, probably 88 rated, depending on the players. So you can't really hold these packs hoping to get a team of the year player. But what I can do is I can submit this. Uh, I can open it up eventually. I'm not going to do it right now. But whatever player I get 82 to 88 rated, um, if it's on the higher end, I can use it for other SBCs like the Vidal. For the Shakiri. If it's 82 overall, if it's the bottom of the barrel, what I'm going to do is throw it into this 83 plus rated guarantee. Um, and basically, what I'm going to do is store up a lot of these cards, store up a lot of these packs, and we're going to have hopefully, I want to do at least 10 plus 83 rated guarantees uh, for team of the year. Just have like a bunch of different packs to do. Um, but I'm going to show you how to save money um, and how to make coins. And I'll start with probably the way you can make the most coins and save the most money and then kind of work down the list. It really depends on how much time you want to put into it, uh, how much you want to really grind this. So all you need is gold players, exactly 11, team chemistry 45. So as long as you really get players who are either in position or you have a couple players at some point in the field that link together chemistry-wise, you'll be able to get this done um, pretty easily. Now, a lot of my gold cards were selling for 600 coins. I'm not going to say that throughout the week they're always going to stay at 600 coins, but let's let's be conservative. Let's go halfway in between um, what I normally pick them up for and what they're going for. Uh, let's say 450. Let's say you can pick up a gold card for 450 coins and you need 11 of them to complete your squad. So that's 4,950, about 5,000 coins uh, we're going to round up to every single time you do one of these. Now, if you want to save any coins whatsoever... Uh, all you need to do is use one of those players untradeable, right? You're going to save yourself 400 plus coins. And the more untradeable cards you have, uh, the better off you're going to be. And that's kind of what I've been doing. Now, if I look at my club right now, I'm pretty, I have a lot of untradeables. Now, a lot of BPL, a lot of players that have league SBCs, like Italy, France, I'm holding on to, which I'm going to do a bunch of three player upgrade packs. And whatever I get a duplicate, I'm basically just going to, make a squad with a duplicate, try to be as efficient as possible. I really don't want to discard um, anything. I want to maximize 
And if we have anything tradable, obviously then sell on the tradable for profit. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. A uh, couple ways that I've been doing it. One of my favorite ways is doing the upgrade packs. So if you're me, I like to start with bronze packs. I like to open them up, sell players who are on league SBCs that have duplicate for profit or store them in the club and use the league SBC cards. Um, if you do that, then you get two players silver. Uh, from that, you get the two players untradeable silver. You can make a team of 11 silvers. Uh, and basically when you do that, we consider that the silver upgrade. I will show you an example. Um, so this one, you only need 40 chem. What I like to do is I like to pick a league, for example, like this, uh, England League 3. And right now I have a lot of them in my club. So I'm just going to throw them in. I'm going to get a full team of this. And then I'll show you how I save coins. Typically, if I was doing this, I would do only untradeable players. But to save time, I've bid 150 on each of these guys, uh, which honestly isn't the best use of coins. But I have so many coins right now that I kind of just want to rush through these and get as many done as I can. Um, so as you see here, that should bring us to enough chem. Now, if you want to save coins, what you can do is always use untradables. Uh, if you really want to be efficient, you could do all untradables from silver to gold players and literally not spend any coins if you just did bronze pack method. But what we can do is we can use a couple players like this center mid right here. He doesn't have a league SBC yet, so he doesn't really go for anything. Um, same as this guy. We'll just do these two, for example. If we throw these guys in the middle of the pitch, right there, right there, make some round, boom, we get that. You get a three-player common gold pack, and then if you do what? Three players, you need 11 on the field. If you do four of these, you'll get 12 players, and if they're all untradeable uh, with no duplicates, you will have potentially enough to create uh, the 82 to 88 pack. Now, if you guys are confused, um, really, I would just recommend you do whatever you want. If you have a lot of untradables in your club, uh, it would be smart just to focus on getting rid of those untradables. But what I'm going to be doing is I'll, I'll kind of show you this on stream if I'm streaming later today, uh, if not later this week. Because how long are these cards out? These are out. SBCs go for six days. Okay. So you can do these with the other Footmas uh, SBCs that come out. You can do this with any of these in here. Basically, any players you want to complete, we're going to try to be as efficient as possible. So what I would recommend, this is what I'm going to do today um, off the of stream, is I'm going to sit here. I'm going to open bronze packs. And basically, I'll show you step by step before I end the video um, how I'm going to grind it. So first, when you open a bronze pack, if you do it on mobile, so if you do it on your phone or if you do it on a PC, it's going to be quicker than console. But either way, you're good. So as you see here, we have two players who don't have league SBCs. So those are going to be part of the process of what we rinse into two player silver packs. So we do that. You just grind packs over and over, sell what you can for profit. Right now we're sitting on a lot of cards. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we had a couple million still in bronze and silver players in our club. Then basically you want to sit here and grind upgrades. So like I said, you're going to grind the two player upgrade packs from bronze upgrade. And then you're going to make your silver upgrade team. Um, like I said, too, if you want to bid 150 on a bunch of different cards, uh, especially from the same leagues, so like England 3rd Division, England 4th Division, you can do that and then put in like 3, 4, 5, any amount of untradables you want uh, to save coins in that aspect. Then you get the three-player um, non-rare golds that you open up. And then you can actually do two things at this step. If you want to make gold upgrade packs, this is what I've been doing, too. I have quite a few of these. I think probably out of my 100 plus packs, 30 of them are two player packs, untradeable. This one's 40 chem and you just need exactly gold as well. So if you want to maybe do one pack, two player gold upgrade, and you want to do another pack with the 82 to 88, you basically can spend your coins however you want. And then going into the final step, if you get any duplicates or honestly any cards you don't want to use, the way you can end this method being as efficient as possible is by completing either the foot miss or just the live card SBCs. Um, right now, these both only need one team, so you're not going to get a pack reward from it. But let's say, for example, you want to do... What's a good example of this? Warner might be a good one. He only needs three teams. So if you wanted to do this one, right? Bundesliga player one minimum. Uh, 84 minimum rating 
you literally could, if you wanted, to get a Prime Electrum Players Pack, do the same thing where you just slowly over time fill 84 uh, rated cards plus into this team, and you're basically good to go. If you guys did enjoy it, feel free to smack the like button. Um, if you need clarification, feel free to let me know. I'll be replying to all comments. But yeah, have a happy holiday season. Spend it with family. I will see you guys after the holidays. It's been your boy Mumble Eat. I'm out. Peace.